you got issues and your issue today is yourself. Your issue today is yourself. I got stuff in my life that I need God to help me with. Am I on the right church today? Comes up, we let go. 
home of the original answer that is the answer to everything. Amen. That is so. Yes, yes, yes. If this ain't Bible either, but it's right. Jesus is the answer yeah. for the world today. Andre Clark says, above him there's no other. Oh, but this is Bible. Jesus is the way. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 And when we get another answer, we try other ways to get a kill. But the pandemic is over. It's not over. Not over. We thought we could take off our minds. We thought we could go where we want to do, do what we want to do. It is over. But before there was ever a pandemic, Jesus was still the answer. Amen, 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 Bishop. In the midst of the pandemic, hallelujah, for over a year and a half, Jesus was still what? The, the answer. answer. The answer. And even right now, after what we thought it was over, he's still the answer. And until the end of time, until when time is no longer calculated and clocks are no longer necessary and calendars are no longer being printed, he will still be the what? Woo. And I don't know about you, I need y'all to get a praise ready right quick. Praise ready. And I ain't looking for another answer. I ain't looking for another answer. I ain't looking for I don't need another answer. I don't need another answer. And you know what? Can we repent right now for substituting Jesus for being the answer with any other thing besides Jesus? God, if I depended upon the shot to be my answer, if I depended upon the mass to be my answer, if I depended upon any to be my answer. Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Now listen. Break me a Somebody wore a mask and still got no more. Yeah. 
joint try to hurt next week. I thank God the same God that healed me last time. Is
don't start anything else. Now get with me in there. I got 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes. Get your Bibles and go with me. Oh God, the second one in the seventh chapter and the 14th verse. Y'all know in my heart. I'm going to read you there and y'all catch up with me. It says, the first word in this text, I got 10 minutes. The first word in this text says, what well, if my people. The if gives us to know, let us know that that is a chance. Somebody said, take a chance, take a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance that you are going to take out to make a choice. If who? My people, us. We are the people of God. And we are called by his name. If my people, which are called by his name. Now this is what the qualifying factor that hooks us back to the first word. If. The if does not include God. Because if you pray or if you don't pray, if you humble or if you don't humble, God is still able to bring you the victory. Hallelujah. Oh, can somebody praise God that God's ability is not based upon what I do. Humble themselves and pray. 
Bishop, I don't understand it. I thought it was over. Humble themselves and do well. Pray. Yeah. I thought everything was all right. Uh, I've been wearing my mask. I thought we could take our mask off. Humble themselves and pray. Yes, they told us you don't have to wear your mask. But didn't nobody tell you you didn't have to pray. Oh, boy. And when we messed up, we took off our masks. And we laid down our prayer light. We laid down our responsibility to stay in the face of God and stay on the altar of God and stay in the place where God Lord got four minutes where God want us to be stay in the place where God wants us to be and that is in prayer if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves yes there is some things in my life I gotta shift and change there's some things in my life I gotta be faithful to and some things in my life I gotta let go but God is calling us in this season to humble ourselves and pray if my people which are called by my name see but when we messed up we thought that no mass was the answer we thought the vaccine was the answer but the only answer is Jesus with the mask with the vaccine with the six feet the only the answer is Jesus. Jesus. We gotta stay in the foundation. We gotta stay in the foundation. We gotta stay in the place with God. That my relationship with God. is necessary but I gotta put it on problem and when I put it on and this is where some of us been living on the half of my mouth is covered. But somebody say this, help me preach. And say, get in the right relationship with God. Put your mask on right.
for the next season. Because I believe that the purpose of the pandemic was to purge the earth. One. And the second purpose of the pandemic was to call his people back to the altar of prayer. Not to the building of the church, but to call his people back to the house of prayer, yes, yes, which yes. is his church. Yes. So the church has to stop being a church and become the house of prayer. Let's stand on the building. I want to let you know whatever you're going through, if you stand in God, you're going to make it through. Whatever illness is in your body, if you stand with God, God's going to heal you for his glory. But while you're waiting on God to manifest his power, find a place of prayer. Don't let a day go by when you don't pray. Don't leave your house without prayer. Don't eat your food without prayer. Don't go to sleep without prayer. While you're driving on the road, pray. While you're vacuuming the floor and washing dishes and cooking your collard greens, take the time to pray. Build a prayer life. If we have to go in on shutting down everything like we were before, shut down the schools, pray. If they close up Walmart and the malls and all the other events, pray. If we can't even come to the house of God, pray. It is our assignment as the people of God to pray. Right now, all over this building, you don't need hands laid on you. You don't need to fall out. You don't need no oil on your forehead. Right where you are, make it an altar. And meet me for a moment of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Purge us with his soap and wash us, make us 
every life, every life that you have placed in our hands to minister to. Our children, our grandchildren, our family, our neighbor, our community, our co-workers, our, the woman in the wall, the man, that family dollar that you have ordained for us to minister to. I pray right now you will position us this week that we will be in the place that we can share Christ with you. Thank you. 